morning. Welcome to spring. We are so delighted that God is doing good things, new things in our midst in this time. I just love that we get to smell the smell of rain even before we experience the rain. And I believe that the Lord is wanting us in the realm of the Spirit to smell the new thing that He is doing, to smell the life that He is releasing even before we see it. That is the eye of faith that begins to see and perceive things even before they manifest. We're in Isaiah 43, and of course, this has to be the go-to verse on spring day. Isaiah 43 and verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? The, the Lord is wanting us to get a sense of excitement and anticipation that He is about to do things that we've not seen before. And that's why we need to forget about the past, leave the former things behind us, that we might be open-handed, enab enabled to receive the new thing that He has for us. If our hands are full of everything from the past, it's really hard for us to pick up the new thing that He has for us. So as we start a, a new month, we start a new season, we're coming to Him open-handed in the sense that we're ready to receive all that He has for us. And I believe that the Lord is actually unlocking new areas of life and of favor for His people. Much like when the rains come and they bring that fresh smell, there's a freshness in the air. But more than that, it's bringing the life-giving water it's falling from the heavens above, and it's bringing life to the earth below. And it's causing the flowers to, to, to sprout and the grass to grow, and, and it, it's washing off the, the, the dirt off the leaves and the dust off everything. And it's causing a sense of freshness to gleam everywhere we look. And the Lord is wanting to do that in the realm of the Spirit too, a, a fresh sense of of anticipation that God is doing new things inside of us. He's causing new growth in our spirit to come to a greater place of maturity. God has got new things and He's got good things for us in this season. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for your word which comes as a phenomenal encouragement to us today. You're not finished with us. We're not done and out for the count. No, you speaking words of hope and life and courage. You are prophesying new things to us. Thank you that there's growth inside of us by the Spirit. And thank you that we're going to see that growth manifesting on the outside. We thank you for favor with our businesses, favor with our finances, favor with our careers, favor with our families, that there are new shoots of green growth that are prophesying that you are causing life and health and strength to come to every area of our lives. And so we give you praise even as we submit our lives to you in this new season that you indeed would have your way. May your name be blessed and magnified through our lives as we seek to live in such a way that gives you honor and glory. Amen. Amen. May you shine as you are blessed with a renewed sense of energizing by the Spirit as you spring into this spring day. Bless you.